So the most powerful aphrodisiac in the world is not this Shisandra goji that I just harvested and I'm taking as we speak. In fact, it's not even an herb. It's not a drug. It's not a supplement. It's not a vitamin, a mineral. It has nothing to do with nutrition. It has nothing to do with any kind of magical power or magical ritual or weird yoga or tantra or anything like that. In fact, it's something that's much more simple and direct. And for that reason, it's most of the time not even obtained and not even on the radar. So basically, in my research, I've discovered that the most powerful aphrodisiac in the world, as it turns out, is really and truly just an open and emotional communication. So to say that again, the most powerful aphrodisiac in the world is an emotional dialogue between two people that's full of openness and listening and true connection and eye contact and empathy with each other. It's not something where you're just sitting there waiting for the person to stop talking so you can start talking or so you can prove them wrong or so you can make yourself look better. It's past all of that and it's a completely different conversation to where two people are just in the moment listening to each other, truly listening to each other, feeling each other, empathizing with each other, and just building deep rapport. Now you may think, oh wow, well, this is so silly, you know, I have an emotional conversation and you know, whatever, and it doesn't do anything. This is something that's a skill that it takes time, and it's something that we often approach with a lot of trepidation and fear, because it involves putting ourselves out there, it involves really opening ourselves up. And if we're looking for connections in other aspects of our life, perhaps more intimate or more passionate or more romantic or erotic connections, unless this foundation of trust, safety, comfort, openness, and true just rapport and empathy, unless that's there, everything else is going to be dim diminished and undermined and the energy is not, not going to be able to flow. It's like if you went to your backyard, you went to the hose, you went to turn it on and you turn it on full blast, but you get to the, the hose and it's barely coming out and then you look back on the hose and there's all these kinks in it, there's all these knots in it and the water just can't flow. Likewise, if there's deep-seated, you know, safety issues, trust issues, security issues, openness issues, and a sense of just connection, if that is not there, then it's like, just like those kinks in the hose, the energy is not going to be able to flow, and whatever does come out is just going to be maybe, you know, just drastically undermined and diminished, as compared to what it could be if this other thing was in place. This other thing that I'm talking about here is, of course, the real true aphrodisiac, which is where two people take the time to forget about everything else, to sit down and have a heart-to-heart, -heart, an emotional conversation. If you don't believe me, just try this with people you know, people you talk to. It doesn't have to be someone you're romantically involved with. Just try to connect with people on a more emotionally charged level, on a more feeling-based level. Something that's deeper than, hey, did you see that movie, or hey, did you hear this record, or did you watch this on TV, or hey, listen to what I did, listen to how good I am. Just beyond all of that, something that's much deeper, and it's basically a way to allow two people to be actually be present, because in order to feel the feelings, to get into an emotionally charged state, we have to forget about everything else, we have to actually tune in to what's happening in the body and in the body-mind, and in the whole physiological, mental, spiritual, emotional system that we are a part of. So you may be surprised that the most powerful aphrodisiac is not actually an herb or a supplement or a drug, anything like that. It's something that you have inside of you. It's something that you have access to all the time. You just got to make the choice. You got to take the first step and open the door, walk through it, and start the process. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll talk to you soon.